1942. World War II was in its third year, and the Axis power seemed to have the upper hand in the war. Hitler had managed to conquer most of Europe, and even parts of northern Africa. It appeared that nothing could hinder Hitler's war efforts and rapid progressions. Not only that, Hitler was planning another offensive. This time on the Eastern Front. The target, Stalingrad. Stalingrad was important to Hitler for many reasons. Primarily, successfully implementing this offensive would be the first step in eliminating the Soviet Union completely from the war. As a major industrial center, Stalingrad had major transportation routes and held access to the oil fields in the Caucasus Mountains. Secondly, the city was named after Hitler's opponent, Joseph Stalin. Capturing the city would be a propaganda coup and drastically lessen the morale of the Soviet army. On July 17, 1942, Germany sparks the Battle of Stalingrad by bombing the city. The nightly bombing raids rapidly destroyed most of the city. The Soviet troops attempted to put up a fight, but they were outnumbered and outmatched in almost every single aspect. By November of 1942, Germany controlled over 90% of the city. At that point, a Soviet victory appeared impossible. However, neither side was willing to give up. Stalin was not going to let the Germans capture a city named after him, while Hitler simply said that the city had to be held at all costs. Just when all hope was lost, a Russian winter set in. Seeing the potential advantage, Soviet troops quickly mounted a counteroffensive. More than one million Soviet men attacked the city under control by Germans. Finally, after more than two months of fighting, the Soviet counteroffensive worked. More than two million people from both sides, including civilians, were killed during this battle. While Stalingrad laid in ruins, the Battle of Stalingrad was one of the most significant and strategic battles in the whole war. The Axis power lost more than 900,000 soldiers. During the battle, Germany had to pull forces from the Western Front to reinforce its offensive in Stalingrad. This gave Great Britain the advantage it needed to regain a foothold. War is often the combat of morale. The ability to defend the city of Stalingrad drastically boosted the morale of the Soviet troops. Thus, the Soviet Union managed to hold back Hitler and even make advances into Axis-controlled territory for the rest of the war. What would have happened if the Nazis successfully captured Stalingrad? For one, the Soviet Army's vital transportation route would have been cut off. However, this would not lead to an immediate victory for the Axis powers. Hitler's initial plan of capturing the oil fields would proceed as planned. The Soviet Union would need to switch tactics in their attempt to defend the fields. After Stalingrad falls, the Ural Mountains would be the last line of defense for the Soviets. Initially, Hitler tried to convince Spain and Turkey to join the Axis war effort. After the German defeat, however, the two countries backed down from the offer. If Hitler did manage to win the Battle of Stalingrad, they might have joined the Axis war cause. Due to the massive population of Russia, it will be difficult for Hitler to make drastic progress on the Eastern Front. Meanwhile, the United States and Great Britain will continue deteriorating Hitler's war machine from the Western side. Although the outcome of World War II most likely won't be changed, it is almost certain that an Allied loss in the Battle of Stalingrad would have resulted in a much longer and more costly war.